hey all, all right, so let me show you how to make an emaze for like an art gallery kind of thing. Um, so at this point, I'm already at emaze.com and I've already like created an account. So that's the first thing to do is go to emaze.com, create your account, log in, Google, all that kind of stuff. And once you're here, I'm gonna show you actually how to pick the, um, the template and start making them. And um, it's actually really easy. So create new is what you'd wanna do. So home, create new. And then you're gonna pick presentation. There's all sorts of options on emaze. So once you pick your presentation, again, there's all sorts of templates. So if you go to education, and you'll see like the second or third one down, once we get to education, will be this kind of gallery. So here it is, gallery. And so from there, you'd hit edit. And so it's gonna open up your brand new kind of gallery, basically starting your, your new gallery. And so you'll see it has all these kind of like, um, we'll say, slides, I guess we'll call them, um, different options for like what you want to be in your gallery, which is really, really great. So I think that probably the most common I would think would be something like this, like private art collection or something like this that has like the names under them. So I'm just gonna pick this one for now. When I do that, it pre-populates it here with a bunch of pictures and words. So all you need to do is basically change it up. And if you don't like it, you can go get rid of it. And if you wanna add something else, you can always go over here and add and, and add something else. But let's just say you love this. Then from there, let's just say you want this to be sixth grade or something like that, sixth grade. And type it in. And for your picture, if you double click on the picture, boop, boop, um, you can just replace it. So you'd probably wanna upload a picture that you have on your computer, one of your students' work. Or of course you can find something else. But once you pick something else, so if I wanna pick this as my students' work, there it is, okay? And that's it. So you can really just kind of take it and if you wanna move this around to manipulate it, make it bigger, um, that kind of thing, you have the freedom to do that. Um, all these are movable and so on and so forth. These little like um, um, corners here, they're kind of guidelines. You probably don't want to go beyond them because then it tends to get cut off. So you can kind of work within the corners there. Um, if you don't want a frame, you can just simply um, get rid of it and you'll be good to go. And if you want to copy this one, you can copy and paste it and bring it back over here, that kind of thing. So you can really kind of manipulate this like you can other things. If you want to somehow link this somewhere, you can link it and there's some other options up here you can play around with. But generally speaking, this is what you'd want to do if you wanted to make a gallery wall. And then once you have your wall, you can add another wall um, and so on and so forth, simply by going up here and adding more walls, changing your format. Now, if you want to add stuff beyond just simply pictures, you do have options. You can put a title up here, you can add some text, you know, put the title of your school or whatever makes you happy. Um, and you also have the option to do some multimedia. So you can input videos from YouTube or from your computer and you have them autoplay and stuff like that. So again, there are some other things you can do with it, um, but this is hopefully just enough to kind of get you started and make um, the basics of what you want to make.